Welcome back. So if you have not heard of regenerative, regenerative agriculture, if I can say it, regenerative agriculture yet, you will. There is a growing movement to change the way we farm in order to improve our food supply, improve our health and the health of the planet. My co-anchor, Kimberly Hunt, has spent weeks researching the concepts of regeneration. She joins us live from a community garden in North Park. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Wale. Yep, that is absolutely correct. Regenerative agriculture works with nature instead of against it. And a new documentary, Common Ground, shows how we can stop tilling our land and vastly reduce our use of chemical use and then use animals to agitate and fertilize the soil as well as to plant cover crops to keep our soil from becoming dust. And in the new documentary, Common Ground, a San Diego organization is highlighted as a way that we can all play a role in this movement. Good Neighbor Gardens is on a mission of creating community of neighborhoods and they share food and information. Common Ground filmmaker Josh Tickell talked to me about how this concept could make a huge difference one acre at a time. You don't need thousands or even hundreds of acres to grow food. In fact, you can use regenerative practices to grow food on your own front lawn. That is a model that we need to see in all of our cities. You know, during the Second World War, America had victory gardens. We grew 50% of our own food just in our front lawns. Lawns, what are we doing with these lawns? These huge irrigated patches of land, water's a resource, that is also the most heavily chemically sprayed crop in America. And then we put our pets on there and our kids? I don't think so. So there's different ways we can have agriculture and still have beautiful spaces. And Good Neighbor Gardens shows us a way forward. When I drive down the street and I see one yard after the other and it's grass, I think to myself, no. I run an organization called Good Neighbor Gardens where we install edible gardens. We give the homeowner their own personal farmhand who shows up once a week to grow the food. They seed, they harvest, they maintain, they do integrative pest management, they're building soil all the time, they're layering on compost, we're plot planning and refreshing the gardens when the season's over. So all of the farmhands bring all of their harvest to the urban barn so that we can aggregate our surplus harvest with local regenerative farming partners that also provide their food so that we can aggregate it and make these beautiful harvest boxes of hyper-local, nutrient-dense, shared goodness from these yards. We also teach children the importance of growing their own food. In doing that, we're basically raising capable people. I am right here in a front yard in Hillcrest with Mia Vons, the founder of Good Neighbor Gardens. And we even see this in the documentary you were putting in this yard at the time. Show it to us now. What do you yeah, have? This is actually what's possible with 600 square feet oh. and a little bit of collaboration. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing. We've got every type of herb. There's parsley, cilantro. We even have native milkweed for the monarch butterflies. Talk about regenerative. Oh. And then look at the apples. Look at the apples on the sidewalk. Everyone in this neighborhood is invested in this garden because of those apples and you know people don't steal them they actually ask can I have an apple we live in a beautiful country where this is possible we've That's got amazing. corn right here in the middle we've got a beautiful chayote which is a delicious potato substitute we've got um, it's great in soups we've got heirloom seeds that we use to grow to help people understand that there's seeds that have not been modified for over 300 years this is actually mm. eggplant this isn't oh. tomato, and it's wonderful to introduce people to new foods. Our palates are just expanding. And then and we your farmhand is here. Yes. This is Megan. Hi. And you're, I, I find it interesting, you're, you are an emergency physician. Is that correct? That's true, yep. Yes, but this is my sole hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You're tending to the garden every week, keeping it incredible. Uh, with the help of the homeowner, that's important too. Yeah, right here. so without the gracious neighbor, we don't call them a homeowner, we call them the gracious neighbor. Yeah. You know, they're the ones that are allowing us to grow food in their yard because they want a garden. But 
as if it's done professionally, there's just too much. They couldn't eat all this chard, they couldn't eat all this corn, and so they're willing to share from abundance. And so they actually sign an agreement to that effect, and we use a portion of the proceeds from distributing that abundance to support school garden education, which is why I'm wearing my Jefferson Elementary School shirt, because we teach garden at that school. So this project is expansive, and that's why it's regenerative. That's incredible, and you've got cucumbers over here. And, right. And it really <laughs> does, with your education and the basils, I love. Uh, and what, chard, chard, rainbow chard, chard. yes. Oh, and, and this is Thai basil. It just smells delicious. Oh, that it's does. It's amazing. And, and it really does, with your education, to take it to the next generation. Yes, it does, because, you know, we, we depend on donations for, this, for the schools, and the CSA that we distribute the food from all the aggregate gardens allows us the opportunity to support the schools and then we have such gracious people that are chipping in for that so you know when we when we do things together and collaboratively and interdependently we really can get a lot done and we can stretch the seed and it really is regenerative. You have four right here in this very neighborhood. Yes. But when you treat the soil, you're doing it, as we say, one yard at a time, which is really what it takes. That's it's right. not just commercial farmers. Yes, this homeowner has compost and keeps worms, and we're constantly adding compost to the soil so that we can continue to create a carbon sink in the neighborhood by sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. That's what plants do. That's how they grow. Amazing. And fruit trees as well. Yeah. Mia, you've done an incredible job here. Good Thank Neighbor so Gardens. <laughs> of course, we've got that uh, link on our website for everyone that's been interested. And also, Wale, I just want to let you know that at 5.30, I did travel up north of San Diego where agricultural experts were talking about regenerative farming. And they bring up that what we're doing to our soil by using chemicals and also trying to get rid of pests that we think we don't want and how that really affects biodiversity. And of course, we're going to show you part of the film coming up at six o'clock so a lot more to come in the next hour but i'm going to send it back up to you for now thank you kim and mia is so talented i think the big word the key word there was collaborative i love it can we thank you so much